always purring on your back The rise and fall of your breathing Welcome to my humble abode this is where I lay my head after a long stressful day at work. Your house is beautiful. Now that I have seen it, can I head home now? You just got here. Do you really want to go? Um, you said you just wanted me to know where you live. You didn't tell me what you want us to do when we get here. Nothing, of course. I just want us to talk. I have something to tell you. So please have a seat. Okay. So now that I am sitting, what do you want to tell me? I want to tell you that I am in love with you. I don't know if it is too direct. I don't know how to sugarcoat a lady. I don't even know how to ask a lady out. Maybe you should go on a tutorial for that. I wish I can. But whenever I say I love you to a lady, I actually mean it from my heart. I will only tell you how I truly feel and not to impress you by using sweet words. So you like me? I don't just like you. I'm in love with you. Ever since the day I saw you, you have been the only one I think about. Oh, I love it when someone thinks about me. I have been single for a very long time. I have always been very careful not to end up with the wrong woman. But seeing you change my perspective about being single, all I want is to be in a relationship with you. I am single too, but I don't really know if you are what I want. Maybe you should give me some time. I don't know if I am ready for a relationship. It's okay there. You have as much time as you need. I've been so worried about you. How have you been coping? Mama, it has not been easy at all. I don't even understand why Richard would turn out to be like that. I am not confused if he loves me or not. Do you need someone to tell you he doesn't love you? A person in love would never treat someone he loves this way. If he doesn't love me anymore, why then does he want to marry me? He doesn't want to give up. I don't know. He treats us like trash. Just because he sent you to school. Oh God, I wish we never allowed him to help us in the first place. That has always been my regret. We should have struggled like we did before he came into the picture. Don't worry, everything will be fine very soon. How have you been coping, mom? Especially fetching water all by yourself with your health condition. A big girl has been very helpful. She comes to fetch water for me every day. Don't worry, I am here now. All I want you to do is to rest. So what about Richard? I will not marry him anymore. I have made up my mind, Mama. Nothing will make me marry Richard. Sky, gentle and wild like you and I. Hello, sir. Oh, Messi. I came here earlier, but your secretary told me you were in a meeting. Yes, I was in a meeting. I finished about an hour ago. How may I help you? Sir, you know why I am here. I already told you what I want the last time I came here. And I told you to give your CV to Esther to bring to the house. I want to go through your CV with my wife. If she approves of it, then you'll be employed. But you are the CEO. Do you really need her approval before you employ me? This is not just my company. This company is for my wife and I. So I need her consent. So you mean all the people you employ here are approved by your wife? You're my daughter's closest friend. If my wife is not comfortable with your presence here, then you can't work here. Hmm, okay sir. I'll give it to Esther. It is almost lunch time. Are you not hungry yet? Is there a problem? I was thinking maybe we could have lunch together. I'm hungry. There's a nice restaurant close by. We can go there. Thank you, Messi. But I don't need lunch. My wife will be here soon with my lunch. Okay, I have to go, sir. Where would I be if I was in love by you and our friends? Living a good life, letting our... Where is Patricia? Good evening, Richard. This one, your face is like this. I hope everything is okay. Don't you dare pretend like you don't know why I am here. Where is Patricia? Tell her to come out here this minute. Please calm down. Patricia is not in the house. I sent her on an errand. Please have a seat. Let us talk first. Talk about what exactly? You this wicked woman. You think I don't know you are the reason why Patricia ran away from the house? But Patricia is an adult. She would have come here if she didn't want to. I did not tell her to do anything. You really do not know me and what I am capable of doing. You are joking with me. Nobody is joking with this, Richard. You are the one taking this thing too far. You and Patricia should sit down and talk about this amicably. I have tried my best to make sure everything is in peace. But it seems the both of you wants it the violent way. And I'll give it to you. My son, please, it hasn't gotten to this. Please take it easy. Wait for her. She will soon be back. I don't have such time anymore. I will deal with the both of you myself. I'll make you regret why you had to interfere in my relationship. I swear I didn't do anything. 
Please, I will talk to her, Richard. I will talk to her. I promise. Damn, I'm giving her 24 hours to return back home. Else, she will hate the bad side of me. I wanna marry you. Why is your face like this? It seems you had a bad day today. Not really. Work went well. And I am grateful for all the good documents I signed. You seem dull. This is so unlike the Randy I know. What is eating you up, bro? I took Esther to my house yesterday. I asked her out and I was hoping she would accept me. So because she turned you down, that is why your mood is like this. Cheer up, please. I have tried to cheer up, but I can't. It's not like she turned me down. She only told me to give her some time. Even if she doesn't want you, you shouldn't be this way. There are so many girls out there. You can choose one of them. If there are so many girls out there, why can't you go and be with one of them? Or oh, are you going to tell me you are not of age yet? You are very correct. I am too young to be married. Well, the real truth is that I haven't really found the one that tickles my fancy. That is the point. It is not about the thousands of them out there. It is about how you feel about them. Esther is the one I love. Like you said before, she did not entirely turn you down. Since she said you should give her some time, then you have to respect her wish. I just hope she accepts me because I can't lose her. She will. How about your mom? Isn't she back yet? She will be back tomorrow. I just have to be ready for another round of marriage talk. Don't worry, Esther will accept your proposal so you can escape from your mom. Patricia, I'm very scared though. You would have heard the words that came out from his mouth. Mama, you don't always have to be scared easily. All the things he said are mere words. That is what you will say until someone goes down. I don't like this type of threats. I don't take them lightly. Especially when it comes from a man like Richard. So what do you want me to do now? I hope you're not trying to tell me to go back to him. Patricia, my daughter. Please, you have to go back to him to avoid all this drama. Even if he wants to take you to court, he will win. Because you promised him marriage before he sent you to school. But he doesn't have any written agreement. Don't worry, mama. Nothing will happen. Stop saying nothing will happen. He gives you 24 hours to return back to his house. I don't want to lose you, Patricia. So please go. Go, please. What is all this, mama? Why are you pushing me into the mouth of a lion? I told you everything Richard did to me when I stayed with him, including all the physical abuse I had to endure. I'm sorry, my daughter. I'm just worried. I wish there is something I can do to help. There is something you can do. I want you to stand by me. Support my decision of not going back to Richard. This is one thing about you. You always want to have it your way. I will not forgive myself if anything happens to you, Patricia. Consider your health for once. You know you are not strong, yet you get worked up so easily. Always try and relax. You are the only person I have left. Hey, if anything happens to you, please just tell me how would I go? Stop saying that. Nothing will ever happen to me. Desert stars in the night sky. Gentle and wild. Can you talk? I have noticed how happy you have been since yesterday. What's up? Any news? What do you want to hear? Gossip in the making. It's all like this. What do you want me to do? You know you always have something to say, especially when you smile so much. So tell me, why are you so happy? Guess what? You know I am terrible at guessing. I don't have strength for all these guessing things. So just say it. Randy took me to his house. Oh my god, his house is so beautiful and neat and he seems rich. Can you imagine? So all this happiness is because Randy took you to his house. I can't believe this. Yes now. Do you know how long I've been waiting for him to take me to where he stays? I felt special. Trust me when I say his house is very beautiful. Imagine, I just wasted my time for nothing. I thought you have something interesting to tell me. Well, I still have another one. Can you talk please? He asked me out, confessed his feelings to me and told me how much he loves me and how he wants to be with me. Sharp sharp, it is so sudden now. When did you guys meet? All of a sudden he is in love with you. The heart knows what it wants. It doesn't take forever to fall in love with someone. So this is the reason why you have been happy. I told you don't say yes to him. I only told him I would think about it. To think about it? Are you really considering him? I never knew you were this cheap. How could you consider someone you barely know? Relax, please. I didn't say yes to him. I only told him I would think about it. That is still the same thing. Trust me, he will be somewhere laughing at you and how easy it is to get you. You are such a mood killer. It's all I wanted to look at. It's been many dawns and many nights. Why 
why is Richard behaving like this? Why does he derive joy in torturing you and Mama? I have no idea. I don't even know what to do anymore. Mama is very worried at the moment. She keeps telling me not to leave him. So what do you intend to do? You will not leave him? I will not leave who? Someone I have left already? I don't have such person in mind. I don't want anything to do with him. I know you too well, Patricia. I know you are still in love with Richard. You should see the way your face is right now. Yes, I am still in love with him. I keep saying that I would have married him if he hasn't been abusing me and Mama. Why would you still have feelings for such a person? You are better than this, Patricia. I didn't say I would go back to him. I can never end up with him. All I want is for him to stay away from Mama and I. It doesn't seem like he will stop anytime soon. How about you help me talk to him? Who knows? He might listen to you and stop. Who am I to make him stop? You know how he behaves. Richard behaves like someone that is sick. I'm not ready for his insults. Please, dear. You just have to give it a try. Okay, fine. I'll do it for Mama's sake. Whoever we like, I could go on and on and on. Hi, Richard. So we have here. A big girl. It is such a long time. I I'm surprised that you still know your way to my house. How will I ever forget the way to your house? I mean, you and Patricia were in a relationship. We are not in a relationship. We are engaged to be married. Don't be silly. Can I have a seat? It is your choice if you want to. Thank you. Mama told me you went to her house to Trentina. Is it true or maybe she's just imagining things? Oh, so now you are their mouthpiece, isn't it? They now report me to you. This is wonderful. Don't get it in a wrong way. I met Mama crying in the house. I asked her why. She opened up to tell me that you threatened her when you went to see her. I did not threaten her. I told her what would happen if she didn't provide Patricia for me. They promised me Patricia would get married to me after her education. She does not want to marry anymore. Is it mandatory for her to marry you? Why can't you leave her mama alone? I will only leave her if she can pay all the money I spent on her in school. And it all amounts to $7,000. $7,000? Meanwhile, you are a very beautiful girl. How about we quickly have some fun together? I promise I won't tell Patricia. Baby, 